hey y'all welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me today we're back in the kitchen today i will be extending the cabinets to the ceiling building boxes on, on top to make it one seamless piece this is what we're looking like so far so let's get into it so here's the challenge if you notice there's a dip in the ceiling a pretty significant dip and we've checked that the drywall is secured and it is we mounted that ourselves so it's all screwed into the studs um and the only thing that makes sense is the studs are lower in that area um I'm not a builder, so I really don't know. So anyway, the challenge is getting my boxes built here and accounting for this basically one inch dip in the ceiling there and having it all look uniform and look right. Cause I don't want it to look like it's on a huge diagonal when I put the, the molding up top. Um, so we'll kind of have to play it by ear and see how it goes. So right now I am cutting my wood pieces to build the boxes i'll have to put some um some wood back here to screw into so everything is nice and secure and i'm kind of making it up as i go um there's no real plan here <laughs> so we'll just piece it together and see how it comes out starting to rain so I'm gonna have to switch up my cutting situation so I have a few more cuts that I need to make on the table saw um, as y'all seen I have the miter saw inside the house um, so I can do those cuts with no problem but um table saw I'm gonna have to move it into the garage and do my cuts in there and I hate to do that because it's so much cleanup which the shop vac We'll knock it out in a few minutes, so it's not that big of a deal, but a little bit of an inconvenience, but that's where we're at. I feel like every time I talk to y'all, I'm always out of breath. Now I'm about to test the cut that I made to see what other cuts I need to make, hopefully. It fits like a glove, this one, this first cut, but that's never how it works. But I, let me set y'all up so, so y'all can see how it goes in um, for this first cut. Lucky 
Is it lucky if I say lucky number five? are the boxes out of scrap wood that I'm making I'm gonna screw that back into the studs and then be able to screw my cabinet box into the sides and the fronts of these so I'm gonna have two on this side and then two down there on this side um, that should be plenty to secure the wood up to it make sure it doesn't go anywhere I've switched up the process of my support because it just wasn't um it wasn't going well. So the way I built them was making it very hard to secure them to the studs and everything. So I switched up what I'm gonna do. I saw this on uh YouTube. I saw someone else do this. I can't think of her name, but I'll pop it up on the screen. <laughs>
got all my bracing up and screwed in and secured on this side in the home stretch um, to get this side looking like that side. Um, now I just need to cut this molding out here, cut my board for this uh, front face. I already have my board for the side. Uh, get those cut or get that one board cut and secure it up. All right, cut my board to length on the miter saw. About to take it outside on the mini circ saw and cut it to height. Again, like the other side, this ceiling is really not level. Um, the difference is, though, it's not a big dip in the middle. So this is a little easier to cut for because it just is a gradual um, decrease in height. We're really, really on level. So we're at seven inches on this side five and a quarter on that side so a uh, pretty big difference but i'm gonna go outside make this cut and hopefully it fits perfectly and can go ahead and for the day I'm worn out this one that screw hole cracked so uh, I have some wood glue in there right now setting and this was a really big I couldn't even figure out why um it was so big right there that gap so I put some shims in there and glued those in so I'm gonna let this glue set before I go back in with the wood filler on that one that one's wood fill got the knots all wood filled in it. I'm gonna let everything set up and come back and sand. Of course, uh, you know, see, I missed a couple screw holes.
trim pieces I beveled um, opposite ways so they fit together. large gap here um, in the corner and I don't have backer rod so I just stuffed some twisted paper towel here in this crack so I can caulk it uh, if I just try to caulk this with nothing back there the caulk would just fall through and it wouldn't really adhere um, this will probably take a couple passes of caulk but now I uh, now that I stuffed this in here and I use my flathead um, the caulk can sit on top of the paper towel and then create the nice even seam that should hopefully blend pretty perfectly once it's all painted. And here what is what the seam looks like now all caulked. So like I said, the hope is that this will disappear pretty much completely once it's painted, but that turned out really nicely and it didn't cost me a thing. Just a half a sheet of paper towel. Everything is nice and caulked. Of course, not at the ceiling uh, level yet. If you've seen my other videos, you know that that's an issue that I'm still trying to address. So I'm not worried about up there, but uh, I'm sorry, the crown and then the trim here, both are caulked. So the goal is once it's all painted, it'll look like one piece. That's it for today, y'all. Thanks so much for joining me. Please do like and subscribe to follow along in this journey of our 1966 Fixer Upper. We have so many more projects coming down the line, so hope to see you soon. No, I really can't complain. Everything is straight. I've been on the way.